page. Today we learn how to use a partial view on layout pages with drop down list which can be bind from database in MBC. For this you have required Visual Studio 2015, SQL Server 2012 or higher versions. Here you can see the output like there is one application name and there is one index page in index page you can see there is hobbies i have read which can be bind from the database so you can easily see here now how to find these achievements we need to follow some steps to achieve this let us see what to do first we select a new projects then create to home controller and also you need to add a view for it if layout pages will not there or not created when you creating a view for home page that layout page will be created automatically then our main aim is add to a new partial view so add a partial view there is option to add a view they need to select partial then also need to care you have write it uh, in the name of partial view underscore first then you can give any name then your partial view will be added for partial view added we need to add a drop down list and for drop down binding we need to add a code where you can write the code for partial view you can write the code in home controllers and only you need to write child which can directly bind to the partial view here you can see our one database which can be database which have a table of master and there is four record in hobby masters our aim is here to bind the hobby master with drop down list in the parcel view now let us start open visual studio 2015 i have 2015 now go to file go new project here you need to select Visual C or an SV.NET web application. Then name of the application we need to write here like partial view with layout page and bind with DB. So you can give your name what suitable you for yours now click on ok button so here you can see there is sv.net 4.6.1 template now here is empty so here we create a application with from scratch so only i need a uh, select empty and you can see in bottom add a folders and core reference so here we can select mbc and web api also we can select now click on ok now you can see our application will be created and when you can see here there is controllers there is empty controllers folder models and there is some script js script and view you also can there is no view shares so where from you need to start so first we need to add a controller so right click on controllers and click on add now i have to choose mbc5 controller empty now click on add you can put name of the controllers like home and 
click on the admin. So you can see here home controllers will be created and there is one action method index which return view. Now need to add one view for index method. So right click on index and create add view. So you can see index name view name each index. I have taken template empty and here use layout pages. You see there is no layout pages still added. So when I have checked it then it will automatically add layout page with index view. So click on it. So you can see index.cshtml has been created view. Now go to solutions. So here you can see views. Views in there is home folders which I have created controller name home and in home there is for home controllers there is index. Now you can see there is share folders now in share folder there is layout.cshtml you can see here that is layout.cshtml pages our main aim is here to add a partial view in layout page so next what to do now need to add partial view so where i have to need to add in shared folders and also need to care need to underscore so go to share folders go to add and create on view so you can see here option create a creates as a partial view create a select a queue view name you can give the view name what you like like underscore partial view drop down list put the name according to your convenient so copy this and click on add button so you can see here partial view has been created now or many add the partial view to layout pages so need to add partial view here so one thing noted here partial view in partial view you need to create a drop down list so that that drop down list will be binded from db so means the result directly give output to parent layout pages so we need a, a partial render action so come to here and layout page you have seen here and now we need to add a partials let us see i have added a code here take a 1d by i have taken like a style background change the color of background i have taken with 400 pixel and class pull right text primary i have added here pull right to control go to right and here you can see i have added at the rate of html render actions what is render action invoke the is a specified child action method and then the result in line in the parent view means so that we are using partial render action and also need to put here partial view drop down so need to correct name here so go to this one copy this what is the our partial view name so put here partial view name next step is create the drop down list so write the code here now i have seen i have added like class pull left hobbies and i have taken here html control like select id drop down name of id drop down 
hobby hobbies and you, you can see here option value select hobbies and in for each loop where item in model option value at the rate of html dot name item to strings and item to hobbies so also i need to write the code here you can see there is some getting error for missing assembly references so first need to add for this partial view write the code to add the now let us see i had a, a code as it we get child action only for partial view need to add which are added in the layout pages so need to write a code like child action only to get the data in partial view and after that i have written a one action method action result partial view drop down list and after that we need like where db new test sample entities so also we need to add see here still i have not added the what edu.net so first need to add so our next step is add a models go to add buttons and click on new items and go to data and click on edu.net entity data model and click on add after that you need to select ef design from database now click on next then you need to write a data connection so your application you to connect to database now click on new connections here we need to put the server name in my case my server name is my computer name in case it will differ from compute system to systems or uh, you can provide the your ip of the database servers now take sql server and put user id and password what you have set and after that need to select database i need to connect database to sample and click on test connection so you will get the message test connection succeeded and click on ok then ok now also when you need to click on radio button yes then next now again click on next so need to add a table which i have need to bind drop down list from database from which have a data so our table name is hobbies master so you can see there is hobby master i have selected it and click on finish now click on no. again click on okay you can check that so again this message will not appear you can see hobbies master will be created in designers model one dot edmx page and get a set of property also be there when you will check so you can see model one and hobbies master you can see there is partial class hobbies master and you can see integer id get set and string hobby name that is get a set for hobbies master which have a id and name hobby name now go to controllers and write the code to bind the drop down list so here i have take where db new test sample entities now need to add name space for it so my name space is model dash sample using partial view or that you can select so where db new test sample entities which will connect to database through the entity framework after that we take result to where result db dot hobby master to list so data of hobby master will be going where results and after that this result we you have passed to as i name rebel so you can see in layout pages so you can see i have used i name rebel and hobby master in hobby master data will be seen here and after that uh, we have write a code like where item in models what data in models will be bind option name like item dot id and item dot hobby name it will run the loop until the data and after that 
when run the application we will get the result so you can see here our binding will be completed here and also you can see layout pages in layout pages i have bind html render action so the the data braces now run the application see whether application is successfully run or not let us see so you are seeing there something we have missed again so need to correct it so i think there is some missing errors like when you go to home controllers so i have written here wrong partials u name so copy this and put the correct partial u name can i stop and paste it so our partial view is partial view drop down leads so again run the application and see the result okay great now you can see hovish and select hovish so our data will be populated in this drop down list like sports reading down so finally we achieved the output so once you can see what i have done the coded here first you can see layout pages this is the layout pages here i have write the code to add a partial view html render actions which can directly add the output to parent view parent so you can see here invokes the specified child action method and render result in line in the parent view after that to binding this uh, like partial view need to write some code so i have written the code here there is action method and you can see here i have written a partial view name of the partial view and what result i have as a dictionary mode and so i have converted it dictionary to in h in i enumerable in rules and also we need to put here in top h to be get and must need child actions only so that partial view will be bind directly and before writing this code also we i have need to add entity frameworks add you dot net entity model so that hobbies master will be get a property like partial class we get a setters like id and hobby names now you can see finally your output like select hobbies thanks for watching my youtube videos if you want to more videos please subscribe my youtube channel